Okay, hi guys. So basically, we're here at the uh, today again, and we're gonna be catching flounders, and then I'm gonna show you how to clean it. Oh, Ernesto came back. And uh, Ernesto Ernesto's gone. All right. That's fine. Well. Fast. Fish. Flatfish. We got flatfish. Check where it is located at. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. That, that, we'll have to. We're gonna keep this one, I guess. Because it's like 25, I'm guessing, like right at the edge. We just caught another one, and this one is actually a big one. Okay, so we're now here with a very big flounder, as you see, or fairly big, at least for us, it's quite big and it's legal to have. So here, to, in this case, clean it, we're gonna cut right behind the fin here. So just uh, like half a centimeter away, you're gonna cut down, you're gonna start cutting downwards, and then you don't wanna cut through this part, and that you'll see soon. So we're gonna keep on cutting. There's a big bone in here, so you wanna make sure to get through that. It will bleed because it is a fish and they do bleed. That's just how it is. This is a very, like, there you go. So we're gonna cut through on this side all the way through. And then on this side, we're gonna leave it fairly open. So let's just put another cut just like that. And then the organs in this fish are gonna be right over here. And then what you should just be able to do is just yank this out with all the organs. You see this? to see the insides there's an, almost nothing left except for like a blood vein so we're gonna scoop that out as well while we're at it I just need to have it facing me so that I can see it see that it's just a bit of blood it's just like a like a vein like a human vein you could kind of say just for fishes okay there you go that's basically done so now we have this beautiful thing we now want to first let's scale it before we do anything else so I'm gonna scale it now. You wanna go like up, not down, because down you're going with the scales, and otherwise you go what you wanna go up against it. So I'm gonna flip it over so I have a nicer side to go for. We're gonna go up here. We now have it scaled most of the part here on this side as well. Now we want to cut the tail off just about where the spike ends. You want to give it a nice cut right through the middle. This fish actually has surprisingly tough bones. So that should be that. There you go. It's perfect. And then let's move on. So basically why I scaled it you might be wondering is basically it has better flavor at the end of the day and it just tastes better and then you don't have to go through any of that unnecessary eating and chewing and any of that so it's just nicer overall yeah
What's up guys? So uh, basically it is extremely warm, like next level right now. So we uh, constructed something to give us shade with a bike and a couple of uh, sweaters and a towel. So uh, yeah, we're all burning to death. Eventually we are going to a uh, move location, but uh, until then, here we are. All right guys, we just fished a European eel. These things are super endangered. Yeah, unhook it, unhook it. It's illegal to um keep these things. No, 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 no. So slimy, I can't, I can't touch it. Slimy. <laughs> it is slimy. Wow. Ugh, ugh. Huh. Can someone? Can you hold it? Yeah. Oh, did it bite you? Oh. It just it bit you. Don't don't let it die. These are super endangered. 